Hey guys, Jared with Guru, and today we're going to go over the Gordo Ghost. Uh, you can see we're in position here with uh, at the campgrounds. And if we listen closely, you're going to hear some howls and screams start in a few minutes. And with some luck, which is starting in a second here. There they go. Should be followed by a scream. Oh, it will. There's a scream, usually some whispers, and a few other ones. But one thing I wanted to show you here today is that there was a scream. A lot of people show the ghost from the perspective of being up really close to it. One thing I want to show you guys today is that actually the ghost is visible from the camp because there's two different versions of her in the game files. And as you can see, she's right there. She's just kind of hovering the same way she does. But there's no haze spinning around her and she's facing us, which is different than when if we actually go up there and see her. Uh, and I'll show you exactly what changes. You can see that dark hue around her. You can see that square and a simple outline of her. All three of these files can be found using Open 4, and they're called together when your character is standing at this perspective to see the Gordo ghost. If you were up at the top of the mountain, you would see the other half, which I'll go ahead and check that out for you right now so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to go ahead and just call a helicopter and be the easiest way to do this. And you just heard her scream again. And you don't want to add it, I'm going to put it three at a time so we don't lose her. Well, if you notice, she disappeared because she actually disappears at exactly one o'clock it appears. She's there from 23 to zero. Which actually be midnight. But we'll get her back. So we're gonna go up to the top here. This is the cliff that she was pushed off of by her husband Jacques Cranley. Um he apparently wanted to move Los Santos to be a stuntman, and she did not. She wanted to stay in Blaine County on the Sandy Shores. Uh, so one day he invited her to go on a hike, where he apparently pushed her down a cliff and ended her life. And then he went on to pursue his stint as a stuntman, which didn't really work out, and now he's right now. Hollywood actor, he does all sorts of weird stuff, and he's running for governor. At the time, at the current timeline of the game, he's running for governor. And he's just a crooked politician at this point. Uh, we'll go ahead and go back, and there she is. So, I'm going to kick it back soon, so we got a little bit more time with her. Okay, so when you approach her, she disappears for the most part. Uh, there's been times where she has just hung out, but as of late she just, you know, right now, she's gone. We're really close, you know, whenever you get close she disappears. I've had it before where she shows up and stays right here, but uh, in blood we have Jacques, and Jacques is her husband, and they ran a inn of sorts in a house, and uh, I would assume that it's the house down here that Ursula is currently living in. And they, they would have, they just have people in and out, and that was their business. And uh, Jack wanted to become a stuntman. She won, so he invited her, and assumingly he pushed her off of this cliff right here. Which was going to jump down. And it's not really much to explore when following the path back down the cliff, but I would assume that she kind of 
fell in a similar manner to her death. Um, I have invincibility on so that I can continue showing you guys what would happen. But it kind of just leads us down. Oh, you know, this would be where she was pushed off. But she's not spawned there. But you can actually keep going down. And like I said, she was facing that way up top. And as we get closer to the camp down here, another model's going to load. And it shows her from just a different perspective. And not a lot of people see her from this perspective. Um, a few things have come to mind with the ghost is that uh, maybe there's unfinished business here. Uh, maybe it's more than just a little backstory to Jock pushing her off of the cliff. Um, but, you know, there's always that the 4chan, good old 4chan, where people go on anonymously and say things. Uh, the death that supposedly is on there says there's more to the ghost story, but it's never really been proven. The game code really doesn't show anything to support that, except for the screens. This model that loads when you go ahead and load the time properly at $2,300. And she lasts until zero, and you can see her just go back and forth. You can see how she loads at the top there. And she can be seen from several places depending on how your draw distance is. Um, let's see if we can pull it off right now. I don't know exactly what my draw distance is set at, but I was able to see her from pretty much the light tower also. Let's go ahead and do this with mods and spawn on over there. Easier. Let's see here. Yeah, see, there she is. And that's with the sniper rifle. Uh, it loads the, the model that it loads here. Apparently, it looks like a mix of the animated swirly things underneath her and the flat 2D model. But it's facing us. Uh, we can also see her from Ursula's backyard, I believe, if I remember correctly. Let's see. It just missed it. See, at zero, she disappears. We'll go ahead and kick it back one second. No, three. Some fog brewing. Go for some big foot pounds. But there she is from Ursula's backyard. So it's kind of tough to say exactly where, if this is the inn that they ran. And then Ursula was abandoned because uh, Ursula does talk about her mother being dead. And Jack does have several family and children. Uh, and this is kind of a, it's a mysterious place in general. Uh, bringing Ursula here hasn't really... Bringing Ursula to the ghost hasn't yielded anything special. She just kind of walks away if you don't bring her to the house after a certain amount of time. So, it's... Um, it's still an open case, in a lot of people's opinion, the ghost. Uh, maybe it's future, maybe they can just add more storyline to it in the future. This, the Jack Cranley character has existed. He's one of the few that's existed from the 3D universe to the HD universe. Uh, so maybe there's a reason they brought him over. But I think it's more, you know, a few characters made it, a few didn't. And the Jack Cranley character... It's a little bit of backstory, so why not keep them involved with everything? Uh, but that's the Gordo Ghost, and if you guys find any more information, feel free to comment below. Go ahead and subscribe. We're going to keep having videos out here this week. we got a big one coming on the Bigfoot Hunt, so stay tuned, and enjoy, guys.